Hey guys, Plushy Plays here to bring you another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Last time we explored the SS and learned the technique for Chop Down, and we battled our rival once more. Uh, this time we're going to be taking on the Vermilion City Gym and seeing uh, all that this uh, new technique can get us to. But first, um, there is her. Uh, I did also I did train off screen. Her. You probably may not may not may remember her. Ah, uh, well shoot. I was so caught up sketching the ocean view here that I guess I missed my ship. What are you gonna do? Hmm. I guess I'll stay here for a while in that case. I really like the color of the sea in Kanto anyway. For those of you who don't remember her, that is, um, where is, um, Mina, yes, Mina, from, uh, Sun and Moon. She was a trial captain. Well, I think she was, no, she was a trial captain in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. How about a Kentonian trainer? Want to try battling my fairy types? Yes. You're going to learn how great fairy type Pokemon can be. Oh, I know how great fairy types can be. They're so cool. Fortunately for us, she only has two. And they're not extremely high level. <laughs> yep, only level 21 for her Jigglypuff, anyway. Um, since she's not really too much of a um, important trainer, I didn't take note of her Pokemon, really. So, I don't really have much information on her Pokemon, aside from them being fairy types. I just know what exactly <laughs> they are. I just know her first is Jigglypuff and the second is Mr. Mime. That's all I remember. And that I left notes for myself with. But in a moment, once we defeat her Mr. Mime. Ah. I forgot it does that too. Why did I not leave notes for myself on this? Go for another headbutt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Maybe. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Uh, one more headbutt should take it down. Get 354 experience. A level up for Axel. Anyone else? And Neptune gets a level. I'm shocked at your strength. And she gives us a bottle cap. Um, not much we can really do with that right now. Um, it's gonna be something more for, I think, um, I think it's for end game stuff, but yeah, you might wanna hold on to that. Oh, wonderful. You and your Pokemon battling side by side. Now that's a great composition. I'd love to draw a picture of you two. Please, I would love that. That's so good. Okay, so continuing back on. This way. Oh, I forgot to mention. <clears throat> Solaris, if we get him out. We can ride on his back! Well, she mentioned it last time. Also, again, a men forgot to mention another thing. In Let's Go Pikachu, she actually gives you a Persian if you catch, um, five Growlithe. So if, since uh, Meowth are in this game and Growlithe are in the others, <clears throat> are in the Let's Go Pikachu version. So if you catch five uh, Growlithe in Let's Go Pikachu, she will give you a rideable Persian. Now, yo, champ in the making. Beyond this point is the Vermilion City Gym, but you'll need to chop down that tree first. But I think you and Eevee will have no trouble slicing through. Come on, give it a shot. Approach the tree. Seems this tree can be chopped down. You want to see use the technique? Yes. Alright, what do you gotta say? Good work. You chopped down that troublesome tree and opened a way to the gym. And that means you can challenge the gym leader. I'll be waiting for you there. Alright, 
Head inside. What do you gotta say? So, there's no, there's no prerequisite for this gym, just, just that tree. I've been waiting for you, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge here is the gym leader in this city. He's an expert on electric type Pokemon and a real tough guy. Flying and water type Pokemon don't do well matched up against electric types. You'll also want to watch out so your Pokemon don't get stuck paralyzed. And here's my last tip. Lieutenant Surge is a cautious type. He puts barriers between himself and the rest of the room. So it won't be easy getting to him. Yeah, I can see that. Alright. So there will not be a specific thing you have to do. You just have to find two switches that are trapped in these trash cans. And you, they're completely random. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, only trash. Only trash. I can't go around you. Hey, there's a switch! That's one down. Uh, this one? Yes! Got it! First try! Alright. And the second goes down. That means I don't have to fight these these fools. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to go back to the... <clears throat> um... Pokemon Center, so I'm just going to... Nah, oh, that'd be a waste. Potion. And potion. Haha. -ha. Let's see. Where do I want to put a phone? Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's keep Axel up in the front. <coughs> Alright, let's challenge the gym leader. Ten Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City Gym. Well, you look at that! A pint-sized challenger! Ha <laughs> You've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny powder. <laughs> powder? Power! Jesus Christ! A Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm keeping that in. You were challenged by Gym Leader Surge. Ugh. <laughs> uh. His first Pokemon is Boltorb, level 25. Pure electric type, weak to ground types, with the moves. Thunderbolt, Swift, and Light Screen. Oh, goodness. Let's go and use that sizzly slide we learned earlier. Oh, and you were planning on that, huh? Oh, okay, but at least we gave him a burn. Uh, let's go for the bite. Whoa. Alright, and bite takes it out. 164 HP. And his next will be Magnemite. Let me go ahead and let Solaris take the lead. Alright, his second Pokemon will be Magnemite, level 25, electric and steel type, weak to fighting, ground, and fire types. We'll know the moves Sonic Boom and Thunderbolt. Ember should be very helpful in this. Uh oh. We might have to swap. Haha, <laughs> we're gonna have to swap. I forgot that's. I forgot Solaris is basically the baby of the team. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep, that hurt. Alright, finish it off with the sizzly slide. And down goes Magnemite. And the light screen wore off. Perfect. So then. Alright, and his last Pokemon is Raichu. Level 26, electric type. Weak to ground types. And we'll know the moves. Thunderbolt, quick attack, and double kick. So I definitely want to heal up. And 
Probably gonna go for the double kick if I'm <laughs> if we're being honest. Thrill the bits. No, he's going for the Thunderbolt. Alright. Good thing I healed. Alright, let's go for the Sizzly Slide and give him the burn. Alright, she was so fast. Ah! But, at least we're the exact same level, so. Go for another potion. Which I really did not want to have to do. Thrilled the bits once again. Uh, for a moment I thought Thunderbolt missed. Dang. Uh, let's see. Headbutt should do quite a bit of damage. Whoa, Thunderbolt did a lot of damage. Headbutt. Alright, if, uh, if the headbutt didn't take him down, the burn definitely would have. And we've defeated Lieutenant Surge! Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Woo! Fine, then take a Thunder Badge. We got us a Thunder Badge. And that's not all. You're special, kid. Take this. He gives us his autograph. <laughs> Don't worry, that's not all I'm giving you. He gives us the TM for Thunderbolt. TM36 contains the electrifying Thunderbolt. Teach it to an electric-type Pokemon for some extra shock value. Well, too bad uh, for you. I already have a Pokemon that learned it naturally. Apollo learned it uh, off-screen, actually, when doing a little bit of a training. Um, a little training. What's up, Axel? <laughs> Axel looks completely overjoyed. Yo, well, you should be! You did most of the work. What? Fine, I'll give you a berry. Alright, let's continue on. Let's get out of here. And since I defeated the gym, I no longer have to fight these guys. And that's and that goes for any gym as well. What do you have to say now? Whew! That match was electric! It was so blinding, I'm still seeing stars! Really? Well, get out of here. Get on the... Hello, Misty! What are you doing here? Let's ta go talk to her. Oh, it's you again. Oh, wow, so you beat Lieutenant Surge? You must be pretty good. Glad to see you're really learning a thing or two. And your Pokemon must have tried their best. Oh, absolutely. Oh, she healed us! Thank you! Oh, me? I'm just- I'm going swimming in the sea. There are times when you just want to break free from a puny little pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Dicklet's Cave? It's pretty close by. If you haven't been, I can show you the way. Want a guide? Oh, sure, why not? Great, then let's go! This is Diglett's cave. Diglett and dug out this cave path all on their own. Okay, see ya! Be sure to meet lots of Pokemon. Yeah, remember that, that era, that, that route I showed you, uh, I think it was last time? Yeah, this is, this is this cave. What do you have to say, sir? Well, I'll be, did you know? This huge, long tunnel. It was dug entirely by Diglett. You don't say. Head on down. Gonna go ahead and make our way through here. Actually, while we're going through here, I have a funny... Well, not exactly funny, but I do have a story about Diglett's Cave. This is where I actually found my first ever shiny back in Pokemon Leaf Green. It was, um... I was just a kid when it happened, so I, like, I, and I already had a Diglett, so I was like, Haha, it's got a funny blue nose, so I caught it, and I still have it to this day. It's now a Doug Trio, and it's, I think I have it in Pokemon Black or White. 
But I still have it to this day, so it's... I s I'm just so happy. Alright, we found three great balls outside of the cave. Alright, Solaris, you've done good. Helped us get through the, the cave pretty quick. Hello. Chase! Remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. So I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no. It's a little too bright out here. Inside. I'll be waiting inside to show you. Whenever you're ready, Chase. Uh... Okay. How about we, uh... See what he's got for us. So you came! Then let's get down to brass tacks. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique light up. Now let me turn off the lights and... There, nice and dark. Now if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you'll be able to sense your surroundings no matter how dark it is. See? It seems bright, even with the lights off. My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see. Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Huh? Seems Evie wants to learn it instead, Chase. What? And you say it already knows the secret technique chop down? I see. Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Evie is special. Fascinating. Let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. But you just said they were off. What do you mean? Now, Evie, follow what I do. Calm your heart. Breathe deeply and... Sense your surroundings! And with that, we have learned the secret technique for light up. Your Eevee, it really is quite wonderful. Now use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since they're not moved, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. This light up technique is actually going to be useful for later. Once we head out to a certain... Ah, oh, here we go. Rock tunnel. Do you know where the rock tunnel is? You'll find it if you head east from Cerulean City. We will be keeping that in mind. Oh, Chase! Did you learn how to use Light Up from Professor Oak's assistant, too? What? You didn't learn it, but Axel did? That partner of yours really is amazing, Chase. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Nah. Really? Okay. You sure you'll be alright? Yes. Okay. Just in case, though, let me give you directions. If you head east from Cerulean City, you'll reach a place called the Rock Tunnel. It's supposed to be a bit pitch black and pitch dark in there. Be careful. Yeah, if you go with him, he'll take you down to the Rock Tunnel. But there is a couple of more things that I want to grab. So we're going to chop down this tree. Head on down this way. Through here. Hello. CP stands for combat power. Whoa, combat! Okay. Head on further down. And there's one of the items that we uh, couldn't get grab earlier. A leaf stone. It's no use to me because um, none of the Pokemon I have planned for my party evolve with one. So it's there if you need it. Another item. A super potion. Make up for the one I used earlier. And I think, is that it? So is there something here? Nope. Okay, head on back up. Actually, get on Solaris. We can go a little faster that way. Chop down this tree. And keep on going. And then we're gonna wanna chop down this tree. And we are back in Pewter City. Remember when I said we needed to learn a certain technique to take down this tree so we can get into this place later on? Yeah, this is what we need to chop down for. This is the technique. Go inside. And we are on the other side. 
The secrets of space, the mysteries of Earth. There are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us to study harder, not throw in the towel. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. We have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon on, on exhibit. And you. Shh, listen, I need to share a secret with someone. I think this chunk of am amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at a Pokemon lab somewhere. And he gives us an old amber. We're going to want to keep this one in mind as well because this one can also be resurrected at the Cinnabar Island um, Pokemon lab. And with that, that is all that I wanted to do here. Alright, I will meet you back up in Cerulean City. Alright, and we're back. <clears throat> we're back, well, back in Cerulean City, anyway. Uh, remember that, that branching pathway where after you go into that house and you leave out of, the, out of that hole in the wall? And we couldn't go this way because there was a tree in the way? Yeah, well, now we can chop down that tree. And here we are in Route 9. And this is where we're going to be heading to next time. Uh, yeah, next time we're going to be making our way to the Rock Tunnel and to Lavender Town. I will see you all then.